Okay, so Monka contacted me and said, uh, here's a nice OS Creal from the PyLabs team made. Maybe you want to have a look at this. And uh, it is super impressive. It's really, really nice to use. So if we go into Launchpad, and let's open up a terminal. Where's terminal? There it is. And put in NeoFetch. You'll see that it's running on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, a 64-bit version of Ubuntu. And uh, it's running uh, the Catalina theme on XFCE. And it, and it really is a very good theme. It's very, very authentic. I think a lot of people would think this was a Mac running. Uh, it's, uh, it, it does look great. Uh, so it's already overclocked to 2.1 gigahertz. Uh, I'll just go to the web page. Now, the link in this web page uh, didn't work for me and I couldn't get it to work. Um, so Monka sent me another link. Now, I'm not sure if I can share that link, uh, but if I can, I'll put it in the comments or in the description uh, to be able to download it. He said that a few things need to be, uh, a few issues will be fixed in the next version. So it's not 100% there, but it is incredibly promising. I really, really like the way it works. Uh, so you can see the passwords and everything are included in here. Uh, when you do download, I mean, you may get this to, to work for you if you try it. Uh, you do have to uh, expand it with Gparted, otherwise it doesn't work. And I've got a video on Gparted separately. You can see here Misa 20.3.0 with Vulkan support. Box 86 is on there, so you can run various Windows apps uh, like you can on Twister OS. i386 hardware accelerated Windows Explorer. Uh, Mac OS 7.5.5 emulator in color, native Steam client, GeForce Now, which I need to have another look at. I haven't got enough time to have a look at it today, but I'm going to have a play around with that because that sounds promising. Uh, Chrome Arm HF, uh, which is the one that would give, give you Netflix and Disney Plus and Spotify and things like that support. Uh, Dolphin, which is the Wii and GameCube emulator. Uh, Winamp, which is an unusual one, but nice to see. And as you see, it says here, true pixel perfect Mac OS Catalina theme. And it, and it is really authentic. Compiz compositing window manager. Okay, so let's try a YouTube video. I couldn't seem to get any audio to work on this uh, through Firefox. And I don't know if there's a way of configuring it. Uh, so let's just click on something that comes up. So the video actually looked really good. Uh, 1080 was a bit stuttery, but 720 looked looked good full screen and seemed to work well so I won't play I won't play a load of that but I know the audio is working because if I go into music and play a track you can see that Winamp comes up now so you can hear the audio is working on certain things this Winamp is great to see I used to use this back in the day uh, probably on Windows 95 and various other things and uh, yeah, it is a really nice player, very basic, but uh, but it does the job. Uh, video I found, this is a 1080 file, uh, which there wasn't VLC installed in it. Obviously you can install it from the App Store. Um, and I couldn't see another video player, but the video playback was actually pretty decent for 1080. There you go, so looks good. And I think, was there audio Battery, in this? 80%. No, so no audio on this, again, there's something to do with Firefox in this. Again, this is a very early build, but I've been really impressed by loads of things of it. So let's go back out. Uh, what do they have in pictures? I had some some files in here. Uh, these are just Mac uh, desktops that I put on there. Actually, I really like. This is a combined one of various Mac OS desktops over time, and I used it on my Mac for quite some time. So all of this is very nice look, about this Mac. So this comes up with the XFCE. So I like the app launcher. So if we go down here, you can see the apps look nice with this. I can move around with the cursor. I can start typing if I was looking for something specific. So if I wanted terminal. Well, let's show you applications. Uh, and this gives you basically the standard Ubuntu app store. So you can search for things on there and install. All the settings is always nice in Ubuntu. Very, very straightforward, very easy to understand, really nicely laid out. Along the top here, you can see things like languages, Bluetooth, my network, I'm using a wired network connection. The audio is weird, because it comes up like this. Uh, and you can do uh, F6, so if I do F6, and then you can switch between the audio. But I don't know why it's, uh, 
it's this sort of version, but again, it's it's a bit interesting. Don't know what that is, but that would normally be time machine, wouldn't it? Time shift. Create snapshots. Have to look into that. Uh, so you can see the calendar comes up. This little search here. So if I was to type in disks, there you go. This comes up very much like a Mac. Uh, and then you can click on something. There you go. And there's Gparted to show that I've expanded the partition, uh, which I had to do in another OS. It wouldn't boot until I expanded the partition. Here you've got uh, Control Center, I think they call it on a Mac. So there's some clocks in here. Notifications, look. Ejecting device. This this uh, wasn't enabled by default where it shows my my external drives, but you can by just right-clicking and going into desktop settings. And there's all sorts of things in there. So you can see there's different wallpapers. And I ticked removable devices. You can have other things on the desktop just by clicking to add and remove. So we go into files. You can see all of this looks very much like a Mac. Another way of getting to your applications. Documents, I've got a GameCube game in there which I haven't tried yet. My pictures, the movies, and music. So when you click on that, that automatically defaults to opening in Winamp. Notes comes up with something unusual, which is uh, a few of the apps come up with this. So Memos Evolution. And I don't quite know how it works, but you can see here mail, contacts, calendar. These all look very, very much like Mac OS. So numbers is on there, keynote. So this is like PowerPoint, Word, and Excel equivalents. So it must open LibreOffice, I'm guessing. There we go, so LibreOffice Writer. So I also wanted to show Wine and uh, show some of the, the uh, apps that work in that. So if we go to Finder, go to uh, Applications, and if I open this wine folder, right click, I think I've got to do it this way, open a terminal here, type in armhf, so chromium, you can see this launches now, it doesn't launch without you doing the armhf bit, let's just try YouTube and see if audio comes through on this, maybe it's just Firefox that's not supporting the audio at the moment. Turn my speaker on. Oh yeah. So Chromium audio is working. That's interesting. But for some reason the Firefox isn't. Maybe there's a way of enabling it in Firefox. So video playback looks pretty decent on there as well. Let's maximize that. Looks like that's only at 480 at the moment. Let's go up to... Let's try 720. Of course, I get a bit of the sped up. Let's go on a bit. Yeah, it looks reasonable. So let's close that down. And you can see here GeForce Now. Um, I'm not going to, I haven't got loads of time at the moment, but I need to have a look at that separately. But it launches straight into it. And it looks like everything's going to work. I'm on a wired connection. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I need to have a look at that separately. Mac OS 7, uh, Steam support, uh, like you get in uh, Twister OS, Wine Explorer, and here is how you can run various different Windows things as well. So again, I need to look more at that and see what, what it all entails, but it looks really interesting. But as an OS, this is really promising, and I would definitely use this. Uh, it seems very stable, 64-bit, uh, lots of things already pre-installed. Uh, oh, I didn't show the games, so the Dolphin emulator, open so I've got a ROM in my documents folder haven't configured any controller or anything on this will it work straight off in fact I've got my controller plugged in something else yes yeah, so it's looking all right that looked pretty smooth now I haven't configured any of the buttons here so this might might not work properly but we'll give it a try So I'm getting some, some weird graf graphical issues on this. I need to have a look at that. Because uh, I've definitely had that working better on other systems. <laughs> yeah, so I'll look back into that. 
I haven't tried to configure that in any way. So, uh, and I usually do on Dolphin, but I, I really haven't got a lot of time today and I wanna try and get this video out uh, this morning. Okay, so really impressed with it. Thanks very much, Manka, for letting me know. Thanks for Creel from the PyLabs team who's made this. Uh, I will definitely be watching this space because I think everything looks very, very promising. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.